As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands. State, flags, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall and are announced in the following order.
Today's graduating performing unit is Division 9 2 0. Division 920 provides the arrival honor staff, honor guard, the recruit review commander, adjutant, and graduates who provide support assignments for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions, rise, face, section leaders, fall up and collect outer guards. Divisions, counter,
Face. Parade. Rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center deck. There is a review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Cooper Hearn from Ames, Iowa. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the Triple Threat Unit on their 8th week of training, the State Flags Unit on their ninth week of training, and the Staff Unit on their 10th and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division one, zero, one. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Chen Li. Petty Officer First Class Dionysia Simmons. Petty Officer First Class Tyler Shantry. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Mark Boone from McDonough, Georgia. Division 102. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Chad Elam. Petty Officer First Class Gustavo Rodriguez. Petty Officer First Class Chase Crone. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Michael DeLeo from Seacliff, New York. Division 103. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Kevin Joseph. Petty Officer First Class Paul Payuma. Petty Officer Second Class Melissa Lopez. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Apprentice Leah Pernas from San Lorenzo, California. Division 104. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Eric Hungerford. Petty Officer First Class Lance Shu. Petty Officer First Class Elizabeth Rodriguez. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Bianca Chevedes from Florence, New Jersey. Division 105. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Pablo Pena. Chief Petty Officer Charmaine Henry. Petty Officer First Class Sean Sakina. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Andre Smiley from Vancouver, Washington. Division 9 2 0. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Carl Soratorio. Petty Officer First Class Mercedes Logan. Petty Officer First Class Tyler Brown. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Cooper Hearn from Ames, Iowa. 
On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these division commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done. Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official partner? Director, Director, Military Association Personnel Policy, policy arriving. arriving.
Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, arriving. Service Training Command arriving. U.S. Army, Army Training Center, Center. arriving. arriving. The guests may be seated.
preset. Arms. Good morning, let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the privilege of being able to gather this morning to celebrate the completion of 10 challenging weeks here at Navy Recruit Training Command. We invite your presence to be with us today. As we look over this group of graduates, we remember that the freedoms we enjoy today come at a great cost. We thank you for their willingness to serve at a time that their nation needs the most. Bless each sailor in a special way as they depart the gates of recruit training command. May your spirit influence them and help them to make right decisions as they enter the fleet. Send trustworthy friends, great mentors, and excellent leadership to guide and support them as they begin their naval careers. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the recruit division commanders as well as the staff who work diligently to prepare them for this moment. Finally, O oh Lord, bless their family, their friends, and all who supported them in this journey. Thank you again for this moment to celebrate their achievements. In your precious name we pray.
Yes, may be seated. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's event show how orders are passed through the chain of command.
Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to your United States Navy Quarterback. I'm Captain Kevin Kroger, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Command. And welcome all our family and friends attending this recruit graduation and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Major General Jason Kelly, Commanding General of the United States Army Training Center at Fort Jackson. Our guest of honor, Dr. Catherine Katie Helen, Senior Executive Service, Director of Military Assessment Policy, Military Personnel Policy. And our special guest, Rear Admiral Craig Madden, Commander, Naval Service Training Command, Brigadier General James Ryan II, Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, and representatives of all five branches of the United States Armed Forces who join us here during this week's Council on Recruit Basic Training Forum. Additionally, I would like to welcome staff from our fleet sponsors, Naval Air Technical Training Center, Pensacola, sponsoring Division 103, and Commander Naval Surface Forces, U.S. Pacific Fleet, sponsoring Division 104. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with valuable mentoring from sailors and Navy commands from around the world while here in training, recruit training command. Also in attendance today are students from Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps units from Franklin Heights High School in Columbus, Ohio, Moose Heart High School from Moose Heart, Illinois, and Wheeling High School in Wheeling, Illinois. I would also like to acknowledge and welcome all our veterans attending here today. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. We're all veterans. Please rise and give you a round of applause. Every phase of training and earns all flags qualifies for the Chief of Naval Operations Honor 
image recognition is awarded CML modified for this exemplary achievement. This designation reflects a high degree of teamwork, morale, and esprit de corps, as well as the superb leadership of the division commanders. Division 1, 0, 2 has been designed. For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, CB Garrett Greenblatt, Division 101, from New Canada, Connecticut, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. CB Greenblatt is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation to the commanding officer. Well done, Sam. Seaman Johnson reporting. Seaman Caleb Johnson, Division 102 from Argyle, Texas, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for Best Exemplifying Spirit, Intent, and Word of Shipping. Seaman Johnson is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, Sam. This award is presented in a meritorious performance during recruit training. 
Stephen Hillman was presented with the Confederate flag for the military order of World Wars. Well done, Sailor. The President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Meritorious Service Medal and Gold Star for Second Award to Commander Richard A. Jarvis, Jr., United States Navy, for outstanding meritorious service while serving as Executive Officer at Recruit Training Command Great Lakes, Illinois, from July 2022 to April 2024. He effortlessly led and motivated over 1,200 sailors and civilian staff in tra transforming more than 55,400 civilians into basically trained sailors. A strategic visionary. He spearheaded the most sweeping transformations the Navy's only boot camp in over a decade, implementing numerous programs and vastly improving recruit training and staff morale. Commander Jarko's exceptional professionalism, perseverance, and loyal dedication to duty reflect a great credit on, on him and work in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service for the President and CT Matic and the Rear Admiral of the United States Navy. Well done, Sailor. Good morning, 
Board General. Rah. Pua. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Helen, Admiral Mattingly, honored guests, friends, families, and most importantly, I want to welcome the sailors who are gathered here before us on this fine Midwestern day. Captain Frobert, Ken, thank you for inviting me and giving me this wonderful opportunity to talk with this graduating class of sailors about service. Reality is that most of you will not remember a word that I say this morning. In fact, years from now, very few of you will even remember my name. The best I can hope for when you look back finally upon this very special day is that you'll recall some Army General Officer talked too long. <laughs> but if you would, allow an old soldier a moment of your time to express heartfelt admiration and gratitude for your decision to serve your country. Whether your uniform service ends at the conclusion of this enlistment or you choose to make the Navy a lifelong career, your choice 
is a testament to personal sacrifice and commitment to something greater than yourself. Why did you embark on this journey? What drove you to don the cloth of our nation and step up and onto the deck? Perhaps a sense of duty or simply a longing for adventure. Only you can answer these questions. But please, remember the sense of purpose and accomplishment you feel today. Let it remain your guide through the many challenges you will face in the coming months and years. The ocean does not follow a predictable course, nor does life. Be flexible. Adjust your sails and navigate the unexpected. Remember that each sunrise brings fresh opportunities, even when the horizon seems distant. Remember, you're not just sailors. You are the custodians of a proud tradition. The sailors who came before you left their mark on these hallowed decks. And now it's your turn. Carry their legacy with pride and honor their sacrifice by upholding the values of honor, courage, and commitment. To the families and friends who have supported these sailors on their journey, I want to extend my deepest gratitude. Your support, encouragement, and love have been instrumental in their success as they continue their journey. Please know that they'll always carry a piece of home with them, a reminder of your sacrifice a reminder of your love. So graduates, as you step onto the gangway and salute the flag, always remember to do what's right and not what's easy or popular. Maintain the moral high ground in everything you do. Sailors, the sea awaits, and you're ready to chart your course. I wish all of you fair winds and following seas, and may your compass always point true. With great pride and hope for nothing but the best for you, congratulations, and this will defend.
Major, Major, Gen Major, Major General, General Kelly, Kelly will now receive the suit of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frober. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty. Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders follow up and retrieve outer garments.
Today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown Parking Garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit Gate 8 toward the train station parking lot. Naturalization sailors, please report to the chapel at the conclusion of today's ceremony with your families for the naturalization ceremony. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on the, this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this. Liberty Call! Liberty Call! Call!